Typically, an ALS patient will present with either uh, weakness in a limb, uh, arm, or a leg, uh, uh, or uh, weakness in a muscle involving the face, such as uh, the tongue or swallowing issues or changes to the voice. Um, uh, what you will typically hear from patients is a, a weakness that is not associated with a pain component and doesn't have numbness or tingling sensations associated with it. Um, a lot of times patients will not even recognize that weakness because initially it happens slow enough that they somehow compensate for it and uh, it's not until later when they either start falling or dropping objects um, or the speech changes enough that someone else also appreciates it that they come to medical attention with those symptoms. Um, the workup um, uh, usually entails excluding all other p possible causes. Uh, unfortunately, until now, we don't have biomarkers for the disease. Um, unlike having a heart attack, you can't send for blood work and test someone for heart attack and, and say you have a, you're having a heart attack. Um, ALS doesn't have a biomarker that we can just check and say you have ALS. Um, uh, part of that may be because we don't know exactly uh, the pathophysiology. We know components of it or things that contribute to the progression of the disease. And in some familial cases where ALS is hereditary, we have ideas of what, uh, what sort of proteins may be implicated in the disease, but what initiates the process and exactly um, what are the key players, although we have ideas, we don't have biomarkers um, to hone down on uh, a quick uh, diagnosis early on in the disease. And that's one of the problems uh, that we are facing uh, when we're trying to manage ALS patients as well.